June of 2020, I purchased a Jackson JS32 Dinky DKA electric guitar in Pavo Purple for $300 from Sweetwater.com. It's a six-string solid body with 24 frets, a Floyd Rose floating tremolo system, and a bolt-on neck. I want to start off by stating that I absolutely love this guitar. For the price, it's definitely worth looking into. I play it more than any of my other 11 guitars and basses since it's so comfortable, fun, and enables the opportunity to utilize a whammy bar, which I had almost no experience with prior to owning this guitar. I should mention, I'm not really going to talk about how this guitar sounds, since these days you can make anything sound like anything else with the right technology. So this guitar was a big learning opportunity for me. I had never owned a guitar with a Floyd Rose before, so performing setups on this instrument was an intimidating experience starting out. One of the first things I did to the guitar was set it up to be kept in dropped C tuning. That required me to get much thicker gauge strings and much stronger tremolo springs to counteract the higher tension pulling on the bridge. The guitar handles the stress just fine and feels awesome when playing aggressive metal songs. It's definitely built to shred. The neck of the guitar feels a bit rounder and thicker than I'm used to, so my thumb felt a bit odd at first when playing several songs back to back. I'm used to it now, but I can't say whether or not I prefer it to other neck profiles I've experienced. Since this has a Floyd Rose, there are string locks at the nut, which makes it so I don't use the tuning machines very often, but they do feel pretty decent. The headstock is nice as well, but there's not much I can say about it. Down on the body, you've got one volume and one tone knob. The potentiometers have held up nicely, turning smoothly and not creating any noticeable noise. I always leave the pickup switcher in the bridge position, so I can't really speak on the durability of the three-way switch, but it does feel solid when changing positions. The Jackson licensed Floyd Rose floating tremolo system seems to be where the budget qualities of this guitar lie. The whammy bar itself is fine, although it likes to get slightly stuck as you try to pull it off the guitar after unscrewing it. Its size and threads match official Floyd Rose bars, so don't bother with third-party replacements if you lose yours. You'll need the real thing. When it comes to the fine tuners, these guys have definitely gotten tougher to use over time. The rotation may be made smoother if you use some oil or lubricant on them, but it feels like the threads on the tuners aren't quite matched perfectly with the threads in the bridge. The finish on the metal seems to be rubbing off, but that may just be because I got this guitar right before dealing with the Texas heat all summer and playing with sweaty hands. My last gripe with the tremolo system deals with the whammy bar again. The pieces securing it to the bridge like to loosen themselves relatively often, meaning I have to open the back of the guitar up and tighten the interior screw every couple of months. Otherwise, the bar will wind up swinging freely, which I don't like, wiggling around in the mounting hole, or even falling off the guitar eventually. Despite those negatives, they're quite small and easily forgiven for this guitar's price-to-performance ratio. I've gotten tons of hours of playtime with it, filmed the videos with it, and recorded a song with it. Keeping it in drop C has been great to more accurately play along with a handful of songs I've learned, without having to tune one of my other guitars down so their strings wind up too loose, or pitching the songs up so I can play in drop D instead. It's a fantastic addition to my collection, and a perfect way to expand my skill set when it comes to both playing and performing maintenance on guitars. If you're on a budget and want a very capable axe, or you've been interested in owning a Floyd Rose for the first time, the Jackson JS32 Dinky DKA electric guitar is a great choice even after a full year of frequent use. I give it a 9 out of 10.